What's up there, YouTubers? Black is Annie here with another video review, and this time we're going to be taking a look at from the Power Rangers Super Samurai Samurai Gigazord set. It's the Claw Zord, aka EB Origami, from, from the Samurai Sentai Shikanger. So, there he is. And, of course, uh, well, you don't need to see the box because it's standing right behind him. That's a background, people. So anyway, onto the toy itself. Uh, EB Origami on its bio is currently owned by the Gold Ranger, who also owns the Octazord. So, so, and in case you forgot what the Octazord is, uh, take a look in my previous uh, video. Uh, should there should be a link in the description. So. So here we have the Claw Zord. There's a lot of nice detailing on this toy. It's a bit of a mesh of a gold and a orange paint, I want to say. But it's mostly of a orange and blue plastic all put around together. Uh, the gold parts, well, those are mostly uh, painted on for accurate detail. I'm not really sure how accurate it is. Uh, there have been some changes into this toy. Uh, first off, uh, there are no electronics on this, so there isn't any uh, switch to activate the sound. Uh, another change is that uh, the torso is um, pretty much a one big solid piece. You cannot open the main chest part, just get to the hidden disc. So yeah. That's basically all in there. So they did keep the gimmick for the heat and disc change. So I'll get to that later on in this review. So you get a few katanas for the antennae. You got the long tail. In fact, the Claw Zord, if you set this down and angle it right, um, this is just a fairly uh, close to being a lobster. So, so, so now, I, I'm not really in the mood for lobster dinner, but I'll take a lobster toy, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, only articulation for this toy is that the claws uh, uh, do open and shut, and of course they can move up and down. Uh, not much in the head, although it is uh, becoming a little bit loose. So I don't know why, but it just is. Uh, there's no joint or hinge for it. Well. Maybe for over here in transformation, but that's about it. Oh. And of course, well, it's in its uh, Zord mode like this. I want to point out that since the hinge was taken out to, to make this more of a solid piece, I want to say, uh, Bandai America added in these two uh, posts uh, for the Gold Ranger to ride on. Uh, just uh, how he rides on the uh, Octozord. So yeah. And again, I do not have the Ranger, just the Zord. No Rangers in this, uh, people. Come on. I only got the Zords and uh, not the Rangers to go with them. I don't want to be hearing any complaints. But, all in all, he's a pretty much a good toy. Yeah. Very nice. Now, to get Claw Zord into the Claw Battle Zord, 
Uh, first, we're going to start off is uh, by removing the head of this form. And then there, it reveals another face. So, once you've taken off the head, split it in half. So, like so. And I'll get these uh, later. So, just set them off to the side for right now. Next up, go down here, take off this bit. <clears throat> so, so yeah, this was uh, held in by from these two holes over here by these two posts. Again, set that to the side. Uh, strain out the legs and split them in half. Uh, turn them about 90 degrees straight. Oh, I'm sorry. That that's the wrong side. It's supposed to go like this. My fault. Uh, next up, I'm gonna turn the feet around on both. Once you got that done, hey, he can stand. No problem. So, go back over here. Go to the back section. Uh, raise up the back legs. And I'm really sorry if these look bent. They've been... Well, they haven't been uh, sitting in a good position. So, it'll take a while just to get them out. But, yeah, they should be good. Uh, take the little tail bit... And, and, as you can see, there is a peg in a hole in this that is going to correspond with a peg down here and a little hole up there. I don't know if you can see this. I'll just bring it up real close. It gets lighting. See? That hole right there. So, once you have these two in hand, plug them right in together. So yeah, that's not going anywhere. Bring the back legs down. Now, my claw zord, while you put these into the back, so you got a peg over here, hole over there, and a hole over here, with a peg here. Uh, when these go in correspondingly, I think I'll start off with this one over here. Plugs in real good and nice and firm. Uh, this one on this side does not like to sit properly. So yeah, it likes to go floop. Doesn't like to say put. So what I do here is just I bend the katana parts about halfway of their transformation. And always make sure that they look symmetrical. Again, I am one of those uh, people who prefer symmetrical. Sometimes uh, things may not be perfect. We all got to make exceptions. So, yeah. Okay, lastly, turn this uh, back around. Bring it down the arms. I don't need you slipping off the table here. So, and, of course, we'll bring up the legs. Or not the legs, the claws. I'm so sorry. I don't know why that came out. And, lastly, bring down the antennae. Or the front legs, horns, whatever you want to call them. It's pretty much the same thing. And, therefore, we are done. Now we have... A claw zord east. So, this is claw battle zord's uh, uh, default mode, if you will. So, it uh, doesn't really much do nothing, but in the show, it uh, does give out a few punches and such. Uh, sometimes, claw battle zord east, or otherwise known as the default. He'll sometimes uh, uh, bring out the claws from his shoulders and use them to attack. 
his enemies. And again, he is controlled by the Gold Ranger. And no one else. He does look nice, especially with his claws out. Now, I don't know if I've translated this, but uh, Claw Battlezord East is also known as Daikaio Hagashi. So, yeah. Uh, the default part is uh, Daigayo, uh, the East is Hagashi, so keep that in mind. I should probably add that into the, uh, the descriptions as well. Next up is uh, Claw Battlezord South. Oh, to get into that mode, we turn this little dial here, and by changing the face, uh, we are taking it from mode East into mode South. So yeah, this is the second uh, face that you'll be seeing on the Clawzord's uh, hidden disk. Again, it is completely uh, molded in on a hinge. Uh, I, I wish I could use a screwdriver just to take it out, but not for this review. Sorry, guys. You see what you get. Next up, we come around just back here. Uh, and take these uh, two uh, lobster head halves that we're going to be using for the katanas. And just fold them over completely. Uh, there's no peg or anything just to keep them like that. It, they're on a hinge, and which is pretty much good. So they'll be staying like that. So, same thing on the other. There are the katanas. Come back around here. Raise up the arms. Yeah, which one was... There, so in there, there, there we go. And there is Claw Battle Zord South with his katanas. Now I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but in each mode that the Claw Battle Zord has, uh, as where East has his claws and South has katanas, uh, each of the modes have uh, their respective weapons. So. so when we get to the fourth one, that's going to have a bit of a combination uh, with another Zord owned by the uh, Gold Ranger. And of course you might already know which one that is. So. so in this one, yeah, he uses his katanas uh, mostly just to fight. Uh, articulation is uh, pretty much the same as the other mode. Yeah, just the arms. Can't do anything else. Although I don't think I've mentioned uh, the articulation in... Uh, east mode, so I must have forgotten that, and just uh, showed it to you in a uh, mode east. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> but it's still a good toy. It's still a good mode. So. Yeah. That's so cool. Next up in the transformation is a Claw Battlezord West. 
So we're just going to turn the dial again. So we're changing it from that blue maskish face to this uh, green one. Once you've got that done, uh, come back over here. Uh, let me lower this camera just a moment. Uh, come back down over here. Uh, lift the back part up and uh, take out this bit that we attached on earlier. Uh, this is going to be a Claw Battle Zord's West main weapon because due to the width on this thing, it looks like a big fan. So, put that down for a moment. Uh, next, I'm just going to lower back the legs back into position. And, put the camera back up. Uh, these two horns, we're not going to be needing them, so I'm just going to fold them straight back. And, of course, raise the arm. Uh, put the hand into the, ma put the main weapon in to the hand. And there you go. You've got Claw Battlezord West. Now, Claw Battlezord West is actually in the Japanese version, which is uh, Samurai Sentai Shikanger. Uh, Claw Battlezord West is actually Daikyo Nashi. No. Uh, Nishi, excuse me. I I'm terrible with the uh, pronunciations uh, today. So, yeah, I'll, I'll probably put that up in the descriptions as well. So, there we go. Now, currently in this mode, he does use his fan. It uh, doesn't fight with it as much. I mean, he has... The fan really doesn't have that much of a finisher. It, normally acts as a shield. So, so I don't know why uh, the guys down in Japan thought this will be good as a weapon, but in my opinion, and no offense to anyone out there, it kind of stinks, especially in this mode. So, yeah, I'm going to have to give that points off. I mean, the way he is looks kind of cool, especially for having a fan as a weapon, but what can you do with it? Eh? So yeah, pretty much points off. Sorry, Mode West, but what said needed to be said. Now for the final mode, and that is a Mode North. Now, this one requires uh, the combination, and unfortunately it has to deal with the other Zord that was owned by the Gold Ranger. And of course, I am referring to the Octozord. So, yeah, this guy is uh, small, so doesn't really stand up that much uh, to the uh, Claw Zord. So, can't do anything about that. However, the Octozord's combination to the Claw Zord is a kind of neat, but yet pathetic in another way. To start getting the Octozord combined it to the Clawzord north, we're just going to come down here and take apart the lower half of the lake. That's what you really want to do. I mean, you want to come down here and fold the two halves of the Octozord together as well as extending this part right here. This part is going to be the weapon. This, however, since I have it standing up, we're just going to put it straight flat. And as much as it looks like a shuriken, this is going to be part of the chest. No, it won't be the shield like back in the 
Octosphere Megazord in my last review. No, this is going to be part of Mode of North. Now, unfortunately, I will like it in a way, and another, I won't. You're about to see why. Now, here's the Claws Order once again, and we're just going to turn the dial for one last time, changing it from West into North. Oh, now that's a scary face. Also, since the horns were down for Moda West only, uh, we're going to come back here, or at least my hand is, and bring him straight back up. So, yeah, the horns have got to come back. Sorry, folks, but that's how the way it is. So. Now, here is the part that I've mentioned. That's going to snap right onto the chest. So, so yeah, part of the dial here is a big uh, peg, if you will. So, well, that's made like that for a reason. So That's going to correspond to this hole right here. So if you have that on... Oh, come on. There we go. I've not done this in a while. So yeah, once you've got that on, you're pretty much uh, good. Now lastly is the weapon. Bring the arm up. Now, there's supposed to be some sort of a peg on the body of the Octozord. So, what I try to do is... Oh, no. Over here? No? Oh, no. Sadly, the instructions say it has to be split open and then onto the hand. What the hell? Forgive my foul language, but come on, Bandai America. You just made the Octozord split open its legs from it's weapon mode and straight on the, to the claw zord. Come on! Th that is just a hard... As a matter of fact, no. I'm not... This is pathetic. I mean, as far as they're getting it closed, this is, this is as far as it goes. So, why would you put this into the Gigazord set? This is really pathetic. Now, I kind of wish that Bandai America uh, gave us the bigger version, where, like in the Japan version, well, yeah, the Japan version, forgive me if I'm uh, pausing or stuttering my voice, uh, I'm at a loss for words. In the Japan version, there would be a little clip coming out of the hidden disk, right in the very center that you would just pull right out and the claws order would just hold it right there. So So yeah, that that's just pathetic. Come on. How can the claws order at least it's a north mode hold on to a toy like that? Well, I do have one solution, but it's not very good. Uh, you, I'll bring down this camera a bit. Just open up this part here. Uh, don't uh, take apart the two sections. Just leave them together like this. And try to fit that in carefully. It's not a very good job, but, hey, it's at least a start. So, so yeah, there's the Claw Battle Zord North. Not a very good Battle Zord North, but, eh, I'll keep my complaints to myself.
But I think I've already leaked uh, some of it on this video. Oh, not my problem. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, boy. So, out of the four modes uh, that the Clawzord gives for us, I'm going to have to say my favorite one is the default mode. It's out of two reasons. One... It rarely gets changed, which is good. And two, mode west and north suck, in my opinion. So, I wish that the Octozord was a little bit bigger with the handle, but no, I just don't have that in this version. And also, of course, I forgot to mention, back in the uh, Claw Battles or No Horse, it is actually Daikaio Kita. So. so, I think that's about it for this uh, review. So, this is the Black Xana saying, Tower is still not deactivated. So yeah, until next time, bye. Now I've got you, you stinking Autobot. Any last words before I blast you? Yeah, just one. Watch where you drop. What are you? Uh-oh. I guess the saying is true. The bigger you are, the harder you fall. Only, you fell even harder. <laughs> Barricade! Get over here! Bring me a burrito! Uh, Descendant Megatron? Anybody? Help! Burrito!